What's going on folks? Trying to make these and things here. So right now I wanted to talk about this new uh, fork, uh, front vertical grip that I bought for my JTS M12 AR. I'll put a link up here if you want to click on the link and have a look at it. And I'll also put one down in the description. But let's do a little unboxing here. It's pretty cool. These, I bought a uh, bipod to go on this thing, but it's not something that I keep on it all the time. I just bought it for target shooting and things. So when I saw this on Amazon, I said, yeah, I'm gonna have to definitely get that. So it's this little vertical grip here and check this nonsense out right here, y'all. You push this little button and voila, turns into a bipod. So it's pretty cool. I don't know how sturdy it is. That's why I thought I'd bring it out here and check it out, but fairly easy to push that button so we're gonna mount this and have a look at it comes with a little twisty knob so that's good just loosen that up you still have to use your same um, there you go. Up. throw this over your little picatinny rail tighten it back down it's made of plastic so I don't know the other, the other uh, vertical grip that I had seemed to be sturdier and it had a, like a little area for storage where you can keep your Allen wrenches and things like that. This doesn't have that because it's got the legs. Just tighten that on there by hand. And there you go. Ooh. Oh, and look at that. It's even got a little flat area here. If you want to mount your, look at this. You can mount your little trigger or your little pressure switch for your laser right to that because it's flat. Cool, check that out. There's my new little vertical grip on there. I actually like the way it looks. I think I might even like the way that looks opposed to the other one. And it's got a little picket tinny rail on the side of it. So if you wanted to mount your flashlight over here instead of up front or even mount the laser over here or whatever else, you know, but yeah, that's pretty cool. I like it. Hmm. Let's see how it looks getting down on it. Alright, so let's let it out. Oh, look at this. That's nifty, y'all. Oh, that's nifty. That is nifty. Look at that. I like it. I'm going to run around through it and see, see how sturdy it is. target feels pretty sturdy I mean this thing kicks like a mule anyways but I don't know I don't get the feeling that it's gonna break but it's pretty cool to have that and to be able to just push it back in there when you don't need it and just fold it up and slide it back in there and anytime you need it just pop it on out Huh. Well, so far so good. I like it. Uh, like I said, there's a link. I put that link up there. I'll put a link in the description if you think you might want to pick it up. I think it was like 20 bucks from Amazon. So, yeah. You know, and also I wanted to show everyone real quick about loading these magazines. You kind of get the idea that there's this little groove right here. You see this little groove right here? You kind of, well, I got a piece of skin on my nose. Hold on. What the heck? Anyways, you kind of get the idea that when you're loading this, that that's where you want to put the shell. Is you want to put the end of the shell of that groove, but that's not the case. You want to put the very end of the shell right up against the very end of this metal piece right here. So watch this. So you just come right here, you push down and you push it in. And it's really easy to load. So you just, Right here is where you want to start. Not back here because it won't go down and not way up here. Right here where the, see how I'm hitting that little lip? Put your shell right here, press down and it slides right in. It really is easy. When I first got this, I was like holding it like this and like trying to figure out, crap, why won't this go in? And then I just figured it out. You know, you just boom, just like that. You just slap it in right there and you can just do one after the other. And this is a, five round mag. I've got some 10 round mags, but I talked about that in another video. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Chomp. See y'all next time.